Happy, happy Friday to you all, and thank you for joining us here today for another episode of Arrow Nicely News. My name is Lenny Hernandez. It's Friday, September 23rd, 2022, and today we are taking a look at National Assisted Living Week. Now, National Assisted Living Week is a unique opportunity to celebrate residents and staff who are part of an assisted living community. It was established in 1995 by the National Center for Assisted Living and Aero Senior Living relishes the opportunity every year to really crank it up for the week. For each day, a department in the community took charge of a celebration or event to really, you know, jack things up to an 11, maximizing everyone's fun. And today, we are taking a look at each day of the week to see how those departments kind of, you know, knock things out of the park. Welcome to Aero Nicely News. On Sunday, the culinary department turned up the heat to delight the taste buds. Monday was Memory Care's turn to show just how they care. Tuesday, let plan operations tinker and toy to bring the residents a ton of fun. Wednesday allowed wellness to brighten everyone's spirits and show them just a great time. Thursday brought the administration team out to play and ensure a blast was going to be had by all. Last but not least, on Friday, the resident services team showed off their expertise and threw one heck of a party.
making these awesome events happen was no easy feat. So now let's take a moment to learn more about how it all comes together and why it's important. Well, let's talk about assisted living week. Phyllis, what was your overview of it? And then Lori, how did, how, how did you guys implement everything? Well, my overview would be that I was excited to see the engagement of each one of our departments. Uh, department directors were excited. They really embraced uh, the opportunity to be creative and to encourage and uh, motivate their team and their departments to integrate with uh, residents and make a lot of fun. Um, it was great to work with everybody and just um, being able to brainstorm everything that um, all the department heads were able to do and the staff helping and the residents loved all of it. They had a great time. Our uh, wellness department was really fun and engaging. Their entertainment was uh, Walker line dancing oh, and they had some out. really fun action uh, music. I think the wedding, um, the vows, that one was really good. A lot of the residents love that and they still have been talking about it. Just being able to see the couples and everything together. So we had, my goodness, I think seven residents who participated and there were a few who wanted to, but under circumstances couldn't. So it was a great turnout and it was a full house, a lot of tears of joy. So it was a fun event. Our memory care uh, wanted to do a 50s day. They had a fantastic uh, car show that was able to be enjoyed by all of the three communities uh, that did a few laps around. And it was a fairly, I can't remember how many cars we have, but there was a good variety that made it very interesting for our residents. I also had the pleasure of speaking with Kaylin Miller, Arrow's Regional Resident Services Director, to talk about the big picture of why it's so important for communities to show up and share their joyful moments. Well, first of all, we never miss a chance to, you know, step it up a notch, have a good time. Um, but National Assisted Living Week is so important because it really allows us to break the stigma of what assisted living really is. and. Um, you know, that we get to create so many fun moments every day for the residents that live in our communities. But National Assisted Living Week is a moment for us to maybe do something that we don't normally get to do. Um, you know, throw a big party or have a special guest or work with our vendors um, that we appreciate so much. Um, but it's also important too, because it kind of brings the teams together. You know, we have our executive directors. They're kind of the ones that steer the ship. Uh, they make sure everybody's going in the right direction. And they were the ones that kind of took the lead in making sure that every day had something special planned. Um, and then of course the resident services directors uh, were the ones that make sure that we bring the party. Uh, we make sure that the events are happening. We supported each of the department heads in whatever they needed and um, advertised to the residents to kind of get them excited. and. Um, we had our own special day, so resident services, we we are assigned or we get the honor of having Friday, uh, the best day of the week. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so the resident services directors planned extra special happy hours. Um, they planned special outings, and it was kind of like a culmination of the week's um, excitement in one day. Assisted living is, is really such an active place, and it doesn't mean that um, that you have to sit and do nothing all day and you don't get to still experience fun and exciting things. Um, and we don't just celebrate in a big way during National Assisted Living Week. We celebrate in a big way every day or we try to uh, because that's what our residents deserve and uh, they deserve joyful moments every single day, whether it's participating in an event, um, spending time with our team members, visiting with family members, getting out of the community, um, and even taking part in, you know, community service or, or community projects. Um, so, but we definitely like to kind of highlight that during this special week and really, you know, just build up what assisted living is all about. And I don't know about you, but when I am able to be with a ton of people that are my friends and I spend every day with, that is the biggest source of joy. And so if we can create that for our residents one week out of the year, 
then we can continue that momentum through the rest of the year. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day today to chat with me. Incredible work, of course, by all of our communities to make National Assisted Living Week absolutely an outstanding special occasion. So thank you all out there. Woo-wee, that will bring National Assisted Living Week to a close for 2022. Residents and team members all had a blast celebrating the week and we wanna thank them for sharing that love with us here at Arrow Nicely News. We love our residents, we love our team members, and we love you also. And that's a fact, Jack. So thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back next week with even more delightful stories from around Arrow Senior Living Communities. But until then, for Arrow Nicely News, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a great weekend, an even better week, and we will see you all next Friday.